Hello YouTube, this is Ardwolf. Welcome back for episode 3 of our Dragon Age Origins Let's Play. You may recall from the end of uh, the very lengthy episode 2 that we are in Hostigar. And we have a quest which is good, basically meet up with Alistair. Uh, but there are a couple miscellaneous things to do before we get to that. Hail, you must be the Grey Warden recruit the Duncan. Yes, and I'm too busy to speak with you, you chode. Alright, so first of all we want to talk to this guy. We stand here in this hour, and we contemplate Performance here is kind of choppy for this isn't good. I hate unknown reasons. A promising member of the breed. Are you the new warden? I could use some help. What's the problem? This is a Mabari. Smart breed and strong. His owner died in the last battle, and the poor hound swallowed darkspawn blood. I have medicine that might help. I need him muzzled first. Go in the pen and let him smell you. We'll know right away if you respond. Let's hope this works. If not, he will probably chew my leg off. Well done. Now I can treat the dog properly, poor fella. Come to think of it, are you heading into the wilds anytime soon? There's a particular herb I could use to improve the dog's chances. It's a flower that grows in the swamps here, if I remember. If you happen across it, I could use it. It's very distinctive, all white, with a blood-red center. Good. In the meantime, I'll begin treating our poor friend. All right. So that is a quest to get the dog as a companion. And I need to talk to the merchant here too. If you start as a human noble, you will basically get the dog as a companion automatically. That's locked. Life is fleeting, you know. Have you seen an elf running about? Young woman, red hair, carrying a suit of chain. Blast it. Where did she go? That suit better be patched up when she gets back or by the maker up. No, oh, pardon my manners. My troubles are no concern of yours, I'm sure. Oh, I'm the quartermaster. Did you come for supplies? So I've never tried um, tracking this girl down. Let's oh, see. I'm sure you have better things to do than run oh, Of course I do. Me. I can find it myself. Okay. Arms and armor for the most Perhaps part. I'm of the wrong the king's race king's to get that quest. You grey wardens can buy what you need for a modest price. Of course. I also have some uh, goods on the side I can provide. Strictly off the record, of course, to keep morale up. You understand. <laughs> okay. So if you select number one here um, versus number two, number two will give you everything, not just so the contraband stuff. Quiet. So always pick number two here. All right. So we got some junk. Uh, okay. Um, you know, I kind of want to keep... I should have done this before. Let me close this. See what I can actually use. Leather boots rough. Not as good for me as what I have. We definitely want that. Uh, mage robes. Chantry robe, willpower, and magic. Mage rubs, willpower, and magic. Apprentice cowl, which I'm already wearing, which is dumb looking. Um, don't need that. Uh, okay. And I, I, I'm going to keep this Blood Dragon plate. Um, I can give it to, to a companion, so I think. Hello again. Is there something you need? So we're going to try that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. So long as you keep it quiet. Okay, now we know what we can actually get rid of here. Um, we'll get rid of the dagger, because we don't need it. Uh, we'll get rid of the mace, because we don't need it. We'll get rid of the magic staff, we don't need those. The small shield, we don't need. Those we don't need. No. No. N actually, let's get rid of the iron ring. Get rid of these trade manifests, which are actually quite valuable. Um... I don't know if there's something I can use this blank vellum for at some point. Maybe, maybe not. 
Um, I'm going to keep this ice band of cold resistance for now, actually. The spirit charm for fire resistance, uh, we'll keep that too. We'll get rid of these, though. Okay, so that should be good enough. Does this stuff have a weight? What has a weight here? Um, I don't know. Anyway, let me, uh, I should have room for two rings, so we'll equip one. Equip one of those. Alright, so that should be good. That's pretty much all I need to do. That doesn't involve going and get Alist going and getting Alistair and going on the main quest. There is a chest over here, which I want to say is probably locked. It's locked. And I got no way to open it, so. It's one of the, the nice what things about now? being the rogue. Haven't Grey Wardens asked more than enough of the circle? I simply came to deliver a message from the revered mother, Sir Mage. She desires your presence. What her reverence desires is of no concern to me. I am busy helping the Grey Wardens by the King's orders, I might add. Should I have asked her to write a note? Tell her I will not be harassed in this manner. Yes, I was harassing you by delivering a message. Your glibness does you no credit. Here I thought we were getting along so well. I was even going to name one of my children after you. The Grumpy One. Enough. I will speak to the woman if I must. Get out of my way, fool. That guy's you know, a dick. One good thing about the Blight is how it brings people together. That's okay, he's about to die. It's like a party. We could all stand in a circle and hold hands. That will give the Darkspawn something to think about. Wait, we haven't met, have we? I don't suppose you happen to be another mage. And here I thought I'd been yelled at by every mage in camp. Wait, I do know who you are. You're Duncan's new recruit from the Circle of Magi. I should have recognized you right away. I apologize. Did Duncan mention me? Nothing bad, I hope. As the junior member of the Order, I'll be accompanying you when you prepare for the joining. Eager, are we? <laughs> Anyhow, whenever you're ready, let's get back to Duncan. I imagine he's eager to get things started. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, lead on. All right. Uh, down here, right? Yes? No? Yes. It's a merchant. Maker above, hear the prayers of your sons and daughters. We who betrayed your You found Alistair, did you? Good. I'll assume you're ready to begin preparations. Assuming, of course, that you're quite finished riling up mages, Alistair. What can I say? The revered mother ambushed me. The way she wields guilt, they should stick her in the army. She forced you to sass the mage, did she? We cannot afford to antagonize anyone, Alistair. We don't need to give anyone more ammunition against us. I apologize, Doc. I'll go collect who we're missing. I wonder if I'm playing with the highest quality textures available. It kinda this doesn't is seem Sajori, like it. A knight from Redcliffe. How do you do? And this here is Davoth, a fellow from Denerum. That's me. I'm a fellow. And this, of course, is the recruit that Duncan's. He's the rogue. Again. Yes. Let us begin. You four will be heading into the Kokari Wilds to perform two tasks. The first is to obtain three vials of darkspawn blood. Some frisky clipping blood effects blood there with cool. Duncan's hair. The second task. There was once a Grey Warden archive in the wilds, abandoned long ago when we could no longer afford to maintain such remote outposts. It has recently come to our attention that some scrolls have been left behind magically sealed to protect them. Alistair, I want you to retrieve these scrolls if you can. The scrolls contain treaties promising support, treaties that may prove valuable in the days to come. Watch over your charges, Alistair. Return quickly and safely. We will. And may the Maker watch over your path. I will see you when you return. Now, if I remember... 
I uh, will check my texture settings for the next episode. That is not where we want to go. So we do get a rogue here. Uh, Davith is a rogue. That's why he's a quote-unquote fellow. He's an unsavory hey, character. Nonetheless, he's a little less of a tool than uh, Jory Just is. be careful out there. Even a Grey Warden won't be safe in the forest tonight. Here we are in the Korkari Wilds. Alright, so... Uh, we don't have anything else to do. Let's check a couple quick things real quick. Uh, we're about halfway to level 4. Uh, these guys are level 3, level 3... Level 4. Elster's level 4, which is handy. Alright, I'm going to call the episode here in the interests of not making each episode 55 minutes like the last one was, because that uh, brings all kinds of problems. So uh, please subscribe to the channel. There is more of this on the way and a bunch of other stuff already up. And you can check out the website at ardwolfsalera.wordpress.com and you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. The links for those are in the notes below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next episode.